Hello, my name is Lubos and welcome to this presentation where I will give you an overview of Pulp. So, what is Pulp? Pulp is software for managing components, artifacts or binaries throughout the whole software production and distribution process. Pulp is written in Python and it's completely open sourced. It supports a multitude of formats such as RPM, DBN, Python, Jam, OS3, Maven, Helm charts, or even Docker images. I believe you have heard about Artifactory or Nexus. These are our competitors and they all have their pros and cons. For example, Nexus supports only a subset of formats for free. Similarly, Artifactory is open sourced only for a subset of formats and has most of its feature requiring payment. GitHub Packages offers limited storage for free plans, and finally, AWS Code Artifact is only hosted as a service on the cloud. So here is Pulp. Imagine you are an administrator who wants to manage hundreds or even thousands of packages or repositories. You can mirror or sync those packages from remote sources into Pulp and select which of them you want to distribute to which departments and how. Furthermore, you are allowed to manipulate packages behind URLs without users noticing. Now let's begin with some use cases. With Pulp, you can securely share packages within the organization. The first thing that might be appealing to you is the role-based access control. The key factor here is that, is that you can define a set of rules based on which the Pulp instance will protect and serve content to various places. Pulp may serve as a CDN. When snapshotting packages daily, the packages are versioned in repository versions that you can distribute to end clients. With the provided tooling, you can inspect and audit the presence of packages within specific repository versions. And besides that, in the multi-node installations where you can have multiple Pulp instances stacked, you can export data from an upstream pulp and then bring it to a downstream pulp instance laying, for example, in an air-gapped environment. If you want to push or pull packages from CI-CD, either as a part of the pull or push model, you can use pulp. Pulp can run inside your CI-CD pipeline and you can play along with it. This should save some bandwidth. By definition, a Pulp system is more available than other services since it can be deployed on-premise. The local instance will help you tackle the outages from the remote sources. And you can also create Pulp replicas on separate nodes that will sync content from an upstream Pulp instance. And then your replicas can function as a main source for distribution content to specific organization in a particular region. Proxying packages might be also important to you. You can proxy packages from remote repositories via Pulp. There exist a few proxy applications like Squid. Squid acts as a proxy. However, it doesn't store data in a queryable way. Pulp does. And you can query both artifacts and packages were cached during the pull through operation or proxying and furthermore, Pulp has built in the duplication machinery, which works either with regular file system backend S3 or Azure, and this can save you a lot of money when storing packages in the cloud. Now it's time for a quick pull through caching demo. So I'm running a container with the Pulp image, and if I want to create pull through cache for Docker Hub registry, I can create a so-called remote pointi pointing to that registry. Then I will tell Pulp to create the so-called distribution, which is an entity that will be visible to end clients. And I will reference that specific remote. And the next time when a client is going to pull content 
from the pop cache. It's going to proxy and stream the content from the Docker Hub registry. And next time when another user is trying to pull the same content, it's going directly from the pull bulb storage. Yeah, so that's it. And you can query what kind of content was cached and copy that and play with it. So to conclude, Bulb is here to help solve you your day-to-day -day problems with delivering packages on the cloud or on-premise. And it supports role-based access control, repository versioning, package querying, artifact deduplication or proxy caching. These are features that will make your life easier. And we invite you to take a look at our documentation at pulpproject.org. And finally, we have got a discourse forum where you can discuss various topics with our users, developers too. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Until next time.